Okay, so I'm back. It's uh, still the second day, so, and I feel like playing some more, so we're gonna keep going. Uh, of course, the camera's off again. All right. Now I think I was hacking this guy's computer. Yeah, I gotta hack it. There we go. Holy shit, are you serious? Oh no, no, no. <laughs> that doesn't look good. Jesus. I have a feeling it's not going to let me go like how I want it to go. As long as I fortify, it should be good. Nice. Okay, they got me. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Oh, did they block it? Oh, no, I got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got him. We hacking now, baby. Alright, Detective from Fred Moist. <laughs> Moist. Hello, Detective Warner. I'm I'm a colleague at the 76th Precinct, and it has come to my attention that you were one of the investigators on the Saraf Industries attack a couple months ago. I'm currently assigned to the Saraf Manufacturing Plant case. I'm sure you're aware of the recent attack. I'd really like to meet with you and get your input on your investigation. See if we can cross-reference evidence interviews. I'll be looking to receive word for you. Okay. Just a quick message to thank you for your help in the Saraf Industries uh, investigation. You helped us handle a delicate situation. Training. Homeland Security is finally ready to start its training courses. So next week, every officer is going to have a one-on-one -on -one interview with Joseph Ma Manderley, the go-between. Each of you will be told shortly when your meeting is scheduled. What's this? Blaine in the brain. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Are you fucking retarded? What? Do you also want to come paint a giant fucking billboard on my lawn that says I associate with drug dealers? They could they could be screening my inbox, you dumb fuck. Never ever leave written evidence, stupid fucking bastard. <laughs> anyway, grow some fucking balls, Lopez. Do I have to do everything? We got Yo, man, we got a motherfucking problem, bro. Some of them cats we stomped near the turf in City A are still coming around. I thought we had a deal. I'll let you in on the profit. But well, you have to keep them fucks out of my way so I can make the extra cheese deal on the stuff in the first place. So he sent an email to someone to, to blame in the brain like an idiot. Alright, so I got some dirt on. Let's get out of here. Woo! Someone came right by, too. You got dirt on your boy. Did I go this way? Oh, yeah, right, okay. Alright, so... I got that I can do. Okay. Now, let's go back and talk to Wagner. I got that dirt, buddy. Are you deaf or just plain stupid? I told you I had to get the hell out of my way. 
Strong words. You're a real poet. Tell me, is that how you plan to handle the judge when they prosecute you for perjury, possession, and intent to distribute? Uh -oh. What the hell are you babbling about, Chrome Boy? Funny story. There's this guy, Blaine Lopez. Deals dope near City Airport. A real scumbag. You know him? Because I have a nice little chat record between him and you. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... Shit, man. Now listen. I, I just did what was asked of me. I, I didn't have a choice. He's about to snitch. Talk. Okay, look. <laughs> Snitching. I just came in one morning and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly it shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Okay. Got some info. Now what? Back again to Detroit. Locate the DMPD store. Captain Penn's office. Hold up. Chase told me something. Chase told me that the order to close the DMPD's investigation came from higher up. If that's true, the Jefferson Drive precinct captain might have copies of those orders on his computer. Time to check out Captain Penn's second floor office. Alright. Fuck, I just walked out, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Hey, maybe I can get in from the outside. I'm pretty sure I don't have a um a key a password for his office, so let's see if we can get to the second floor from some roof or some shit. Since I'm already out here. Jensen, I have a message for you. From one of your former colleagues. A detective Alexander. Jenny? What did she want? She said she could use some help if you can make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Hmm. So I got another, is that a side quest? What the fuck? Damn, what did he say? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. He said some street? Rose Street? Or. Fuck, what did he say? And my power goes out. Are you fucking serious? Oh my god, man. Oh shit. Yo, my Xbox got red lights. What the fuck is going on?